Tunga penetrans, measuring only 1 mm in size, holds the distinction of being the smallest known flea species. Both male and female fleas engage in blood feeding. However, the female sand fleas, in particular, permanently penetrate the skin of their hosts, experiencing significant hypertrophy and expelling hundreds of eggs over a span of two to three weeks. The hypertrophy of the flea's abdomen initiates during penetration, and after a few days, the abdominal segments reach sizes of up to 1 cm. Post-egg expulsion, the lesion undergoes involution. Approximately three weeks after penetration, the fleas perish and are eventually shed from the epidermis through skin repair mechanisms. It is crucial to recognize that infestation with T. penetrans is a dynamic process, with lesions continuously changing their morphological appearance. The natural history of tungiasis has been categorized into five stages, known as the Fortaleza classification. In stage 1, the flea is in statu penetrandi, 30 minutes to several hours, and a 1 mm reddish spot emerges. Stage 2 marks the onset of hypertrophy, with the parasite becoming more noticeable as a growing whitish or mother of pearl-like nodule, one to two days post-penetration. In this stage, the anal genital opening appears as a central black dot in the protruding rear cone of the flea, surrounded by erythema. Stage 3 witnesses maximal hypertrophy, becoming macroscopically visible two days to three weeks after penetration. A round, watch-glass-like patch develops, often accompanied by hyperkeratosis and desquamation of the surrounding skin. Typical features in this stage include the expulsion of eggs and feces, with lesions usually causing pain and the sensation of foreign bodies expanding under the skin. In stage 4, a black crust covers an involuted lesion with a dead parasite, 3 to 5 weeks after penetration, and stage 5, 6 weeks to several months after penetration, is characterized by a residual scar in the stratum corneum. Superinfection and lesion manipulation by the patient or a caregiver may alter the usual sequence of neosome development, lesion involution, and stage 5 formation. Teeth penetrance primarily affects the periungual area of the toes, heels, and soles. However, embedded sand fleas can be found on various body parts such as hands, elbows, neck, buttocks, and the genital region. Clusters of lesions are common in severe infestations, with some cases resembling tumorous growths and exhibiting pseudoepitheliomatous hyperplasia in histological sections. Despite tungiasis being a self-limiting infestation, complications are frequent in endemic areas. Many patients experience severe pain, and inflammation and fissures often impede normal walking. Consequences include toenail deformation and loss, as well as digit deformities. The skin sore caused by the protruding rear end of the flea serves as an entry point for pathogenic microorganisms. Superinfected lesions lead to pustule formation, suppuration, and ulcers. Staphylococcus aureus and streptococci are the most commonly occurring bacteria, but other aerobic and anaerobic bacteria, including clostridia, are also present. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.